my friends so today we're going to talk about syndication how do you syndicate to 20 or more platforms on a daily basis right how do I do it I share a blog post a video a an audio and uh, on 20 or more than that we're going to count them actually when, when we go through because I actually didn't didn't do the total but it's a lot and I do that using a certain process that I follow every single day during the week I record a video and I create a blog post and then I share it and then I syndicate it and we're going to talk about how to do that how you can do that and you know how how it's possible and what are the benefits of doing that do you really want to be syndicating the same content everywhere how do you make it so that it's unique what is it that makes it good and what makes it bad right so we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so you want to syndicate your content why would you want to do that right so the first reason is you don't have enough time to share it everywhere I certainly don't have time to share it everywhere or to create unique content for every single platform in a certain way I do but at the same time I don't and that's probably why you're looking at this because you're wondering how do I syndicate content to a bunch of platforms all every single day right I mean it takes a long time to post everywhere right you got to create the content you got to post it you got to <laughs> schedule it you gotta there's all sorts of things you got to do right so I share to Facebook LinkedIn Twitter Snapchat Instagram um on WordPress on my blog on YouTube on on TikTok on uh Pinterest I mean I share everywhere and and not just that uh there's a bunch of the live wire and uh, reddit and the, all sorts of different places as well and we're going to go through the list oh, oh yeah alexa and itunes and soundcloud and spotify and and stitcher i mean it's everywhere and on on, on clicky course and we're anyways we're going to talk about all those places where i share and how you can do that too and well before we get into that let's talk a, bit, a little bit about the benefits and the drawbacks of this kind of uh, posting right so first of all one of the benefits is obviously you get to have a lot more eyeballs on your content right so that's definitely something that's good the more people see your the more people see your stuff sorry about that the more people see your stuff the better it is for you right the more you're going to get people to um, reach out the more people are going to start to know like and trust you it's all about personal branding right so the other thing is you're going to have more time because if you use syndication and use uh, sharing and automation that kind of stuff to share your content on all the different platforms then you'll have more time because you won't have to be creating different content for everything now I use automation from from the very basics of it and we're going to kind of show you how I do that I did other blog posts other episodes by the way if you're listening to this in an audio or if you're listening to the short version make sure you go to my blog at cis228.jsgagnon.com cis228.jsgagnon.com to go check out the rest and watch the video because I do share on video as well some of the things I do all right so just if you want to be syndicating everywhere you got to keep in mind that it does reduce the negative side of it is that it does reduce your engagement some platforms well, most platforms don't like automation to share and also if you're sharing the same content in uh, everywhere uh, it reduces the possibility that people are going to be following you on different platforms because they, they they see the same thing everywhere right so but the it depends what you're trying to accomplish right are you trying to grow your audience slowly or are you trying to get people from all the different platforms to follow you right so if you're trying to get people to follow you on every single platform then you really want to be creating content for each platform you want to be doing separately you want to be creating separate recordings like for me for example I record a story in say snapchat or our TikTok. I record a one minute video there saying what I'm doing what today's episode was right and 
then I share that the exact same story on Facebook stories on which is messenger stories as well on snapchat as well as instagram stories and most days I'll also upload it as a video to tiktok so it's the same video so you, it's not as engaging as if I was doing a separate little video for every single platform right a separate video that says says hey my you know hey my snapchat friend how's it going today what are you doing what are you up to you want to go in the back of my my life and see what's going on and same thing with Instagram or do a story on Instagram hey Instagram how's it going I really appreciate you following me you know whatever right you do different things and you talk to the audience based on the platform they're on but that takes longer right so so you get better engagement that way for sure but you have time to do that everywhere right so you can some say don't share everywhere just share where you can where you have time to do you'll get better results that way and there's some truth to that because the kinds of results you get from that specifically focusing on one thing definitely has a, a positive uh, impact but at the same time you're not being seen by as many people right so I I personally want automation I want to share everywhere I want to have content everywhere so how do I do that we're going to talk about that right now let me just actually I should have I, as usual I always forget to prepare my screen for sharing but let me just go in here and let's just start up a new notepad well actually I'll put it right here new text document and we're going to say notes so we're just going to open this up and I'm going to share that on the screen so you can see well first yeah so let's just talk about what do I do right what do I do to uh, provide content right what do I do for private content so the first thing I do so number one I create video right so that's the first thing I do number two I write a blog post so creating the video takes me about 30 minutes or so and writing the blog post takes me about 15 minutes and then I share it amongst all the different platforms so then I so okay so now actually after doing the video and and writing the blog post I ex I extract text from blog and save to plain text file right so so if I look for example if I show you uh, for example in one of these um my previous episodes right here if I go to this one you can see right here that I have a whole bunch of files I've got this episode title I've got this episode full text here I don't if we open it this is gonna look right oh yeah so basically this is the episode title for yesterday's episode right so I just took it and cut and pasted it into a text file now you can certainly use wordpress you can a word or you can use a you know a text editors that kind of stuff if you want for sure then what I do is I then I create a short text file right so the short text file is basically this same uh, file but I just strip the first few lines out of it right so I use that in other places so so now I have my content sort of ready well well the the text content if you will number five I extract wave audio from full length video right so I use I use a tool called using ffmpeg okay so I use a tool called ffmpeg which lets me do all these things that I'm about to tell you I do so number six uh so I'm I'm not gonna let's just so let's just one last thing then I create short five minute video from uh, from well so the first five minutes of the video and if you're if you're listening and I extract the audio so extract audio right extract I don't I actually actually I don't do that I let my platform do it for me so I don't extract the audio for the five minute but I create the short five minute video this is the first so first four minutes 30 seconds or so plus a trailer right so I mean I have this trailer that says you know this is but part of the course income secrets if you want to go you know whatever right if you've seen the shorter videos on Facebook on LinkedIn on Twitter you know uh, what that is if not you can go to my um 
to my Facebook or my LinkedIn and you're going to go find one of those you're going to see what I mean at the end I have this short kind of uh, basically uh, what I have is well let's just show you one of these videos here so if I look at this uh, five minute video here <clears throat> I'm going to turn the sound off so it's basically the same video right a video from yesterday and at the end I have this I have this end to it like this right it just says that and I also speak it so it's part of the audio if it's an audio so that's what I have in there so after I've got my content is there anything else I need to do okay so uh this is the preparation prep prep preparation is it prep or prep I don't know anyways uh okay so then I have syndication so after I've got everything ready this is where I syndicate to number one upload to YouTube so on you anyways I'm I can't get into all the details because it'll take forever but I did do different episodes and if you ever want specifics I I probably could do some sort of training at some point just let me know if you're interested right so number one I upload to YouTube of course I use the text from the text file and a short then I create this other text file and all that stuff number two I I um yeah so after that then I do I actually upload short video to LinkedIn so that's number two the second second platform I syndicate to number three I then I upload short video to Facebook number four I upload short video to Instagram Instagram um tv right so igtv number five okay so number five um I upload short video to Pinterest number six number six I upload full actually let's say full video right here that way we full video to YouTube full audio to SoundCloud all right okay number seven I upload full full video to click eCourse click eCourse um okay and then I also upload short video upload short whoops short video to click eCourse eCourse this is for Alexa Alexa skills this is this is well actually I'm not gonna yeah let's not let's not do this one is the this is the one that's only for Alexa skills there is other uh, I'm still looking into getting other platforms for this but this is this is what this is for number nine <clears throat> number nine so after I've done all that uh let me just try to remember if there's anything else I'm missing from the basic uh, or the beginning of the process LinkedIn uh yeah Facebook Pinterest uh, there you go okay so that's the first eight are from the from my from my kind of more or less manual process right after that they're all through automation so uh then there is a uh I sh then there is a share to Twitter uh, via <clears throat> that's via uh, only wire and uh, social jukebox okay so that's automated so uh, that happens in um, and I've done blog posts showing you how to use those tools so if you're interested you're going to go to my blog and go search for that um and then number 10 I share to where else do I share to okay then then I share I'm trying to remember where else because I do share another um, platforms okay so then I share to um uh, iTunes via SoundCloud whoops SoundCloud so that's automated right so okay let's just do these uh, like this so um okay automated whoops let's just make sure we so automated automated sh uh, syndication right so I do this automated syndication here so number 10 um number 11 
I share to stitcher whoops stitcher via click eCourse eCourse number 12 I share to uh where else do I have the audios I have oh um well that's still I'm not I don't have that yet because it's it's not yet approved but I I add I heart radio via click e click equals right so I'm using that what else do I do um let's see so <clears throat> let's see let's see number 13 I share to wordpress.org via only wire whoops only wire number 14 I share to let's let's just go into only wire and take a look at what it is that we're doing let's just go over here mm -hmm. so if I go over to here I go into here let's go to only wire only wire <clears throat> I'm just trying I don't really I don't remember where all these things are but if I go to my networks um so Twitter Pinterest LinkedIn so there's reddit whoops where's that share to reddit is that how it's spelled r-e-d-d-i-t r-e-d-d-i-t via only wire number 15 I share to uh, I don't have that connected insta paper insta paper via only wire number 16 I share to uh wordpress is there there's also blogger and tumblr blogger via only wire number 17 I share to uh tumblr via only wire and number 18 do we share anywhere else on on only wire let me just take a look uh, I don't have a oh, pocket I don't even know what that is <laughs> share to pocket via only only wire all right and then 19 <clears throat> 19 where I also do a, a share to snapchat snapchat stories number 20 share to actually that should probably be up here right I should probably do that here nine would be uh, sh uh create story and share to and post let's just say because I don't do this every day sometimes I'll use TikTok instead of uh, instead of, of uh, Snapchat but create story and post to Snapchat but we'll just do that like this so that means that this is number nine number 10 is here this is 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 and 21 uh actually that's yeah share to Instagram share snapchat share story story to insta Instagram stories share story to Facebook uh, whoops Facebook stories now obviously we do also share story to messenger stories now I don't know if you know this but in Facebook there's 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 the messenger stories and there's the Facebook stories they're two separate places some people would look at one and not at the other right uh, and then I also share story video to TikTok so it's actually 23 23 places where I share my content every day where you can do that too so now I kind of listed all this stuff that I'm doing here this is pretty crazy right let's just save this file and that's kind of what I do right so how do I do all that um and we still have time so let me just kind of show you a little bit of some of this process so first of all uploading a video to YouTube is relatively simple right when you're in YouTube 
you probably already know how to do this but let's just go through it kind of quickly if you go to youtube.com and then you go to your let's make this let's make this a little bit uh, you go to youtube right make sure we can see the whole thing here so if you go to youtube you're going to see you know videos that you based on your searches or whatever some some silly stuff right and then you click on your face right there and you click on your channel and over here you can say uh plus see the little plus that's there you just say upload video right so you upload video and then you search for the video on your computer and you upload it right so select files and we just go to whatever right let's say I want to upload this video here where's the full video right here right I would do that I would select that I would upload it right so I'm not going to do that because it's going to take too long to upload but then <laughs> afterwards you'll have your videos in here right so you will want to put this is what I uh, actually let's uh, so what I do in my videos right is I make sure so first of all I have the same title for everything right so course income secrets then a number and then the title right then I have the title over here repeated as part of the description that's seo for seo the other thing I do is the file name has to have the name of the of the video as well so that's why my files when you look at them <laughs> when you look at them you can see that all the files have the same the whole name in it right the name of the actual content so that's that's how that's seo then I put that text right remember I said I had the full text and the short text I put that in here as the description right and then at the bottom I have a link to the blog post so that's kind of why I create the blog post and then I upload the video and then I I set the the I publish the blog then I anyways it's a whole process right obviously but the once you have your um your blog post shared or or public you want to put the link here I used to use short links and you could probably do that too but the thing I've I've, I've uh, discovered is that if you put your link there it becomes part of SEO um better ranking for your blog right because phase uh because YouTube and Google searches and all that they recognize that your blog link is here in these posts and posts that get clicks and views and things like that count as a better um you know SEO ranking for your actual blog post right so I mean it takes a while for that to do anything but that's one of the things that's the reasons why I do this stuff right so <laughs> sorry about that so that's the that's the the YouTube so on the YouTube side I do that right so as you see in this document the next thing I do create so I create the video the other thing I I want to tell you is I use OBS which is open broadcaster software it's something I uh, that you can install on your computer it's free and if you search for OBS open broad, broad open broadcaster software you can see download it for free install it on Windows on Mac on Linux it's uh it's pretty um it's a pretty good software to just record live you can do all sorts of stuff it's pretty complicated but the but you can do uh recording uh relatively quickly once you set it up so that's what I'm doing right now okay so then I write a blog post now writing a blog post takes sometimes 15 minutes other times it takes me longer it really depends on my you know how, how good my mind is going and I'm just going sometimes I'll write a blog post that doesn't really match necessarily the uh the the video but it's along the same lines and other times I'll do really good but it's also part of the process of doing it regularly doing it regularly doing it all the time and getting better and better and better at it, it used to take me an hour or two to write a blog post right now I'm doing it a lot faster it could be better I'm sure if I did it if I took more time and I edited it and I updated it and I add images I, I can do a whole bunch better but for now I'm doing that to learn the process and to get better and to just improve and as I said I extract the text and blog from it right so once I have my blog post and my video now I'm ready to do all the rest right so I also the other thing I actually do as well uh create short short text file that's the thing file save save it okay short text file now the other thing I do as well 
is I forgot about this number seven is extract thumbnail thumbnail and gif from video from video now <coughs> I also do that using ffmpeg using ffmpeg so the way I do it is I open up the video so let's say I have the video here and I just start playing it right let's turn oh, the sounds off okay I'm gonna go through this I'm like okay how about uh this or where, wherever it doesn't really matter I go through this and I kind of find a spot where I want to have a, a thumbnail and I say okay this is a good spot and I take note of the time see down here whoops you can't see it so you see how let's just resize this make this smaller there we go okay so you see how uh well, actually you can't see it right there see how it says 5 14 so I basically have a script that extracts the thumbnail at 5 14 and then creates a gif a gif 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 right from that uh position and it uh it then it so then then I get a, a gif from from it so as you can see right here I have I've created three different gifs different sizes but you know if I look at this one this is the gif that gets created so it's like a short video right a two three second kind of video of my um of the you know the video it's like a thumbnail a moving thumbnail that I use in my emails I use in my oh and that's the other thing I forgot to say in here I also um, number 24 I also create email broadcast in a Weber to share to my uh, email list right so 24 uh and the other thing I do 25 which isn't really but I uh, add soundcloud soundcloud whoops soundcloud um post to linkedin uh jukebox jukebox in social jukebox so I actually do that in here I actually do four of them so 25 let's do that 26 27 28 <coughs> to Twitter and then I add my blog blog URL blog well let's just call it blog post whoops post I add the blog post to my LinkedIn and to my Twitter I haven't done it to Facebook maybe I could because in social jukebox you can share it to Facebook as well um but I share so much on Facebook anyways it's anyways maybe I will do that I'm not sure yeah, I probably should right okay so that's the stuff I do here I got the thumbnail and the gif I use the so this is create email using gif right I use the gif here I also include the gif here onto here you add blog post with gif with gif I'd use the gif here right um there we go and I also I also share on I so I share more than once like on Pinterest I upload the short video but I I use the thumbnail and then I also share the because I actually oh on SoundCloud use upload full audio with SoundCloud SoundCloud thumbnail so there's a there's a SoundCloud thumbnail that's different so if you look at over here and these are I create these if I look at if you look at this I have the SoundCloud thumbnail right which says podcast number right there and it's the thumbnail of the actual image and it always says and it's a square because the podcasts want a square image right um so so that's kind of how I do the thumbnails right I create this thumbnail and I create this the gif and I use I use these automated scripts to do it on my computer so I just type a command and it spits out everything I just so I do this I go here and then I and then I create the command let's let's just uh, take a look <coughs> um basically I do something like right over here so this command here so I have a script and all I do is I do that 
using so command looks whoops looks like this whoops I should have made that a separate so that's basically what I do right I tell it I tell it that I don't want the trim because I, I also create all these trimmed images I create the thumbnail first at a particular timestamp in the video and that gives me the 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 the, the, the thumbnail that we saw here <clears throat> and then I have all the rest so I actually create so I actually extract yeah maybe I should uh, let's do that just to make it clear so over here I actually do that here <coughs> I actually uh, don't necessarily write the blog post extract text okay this is actually after everything right here so number one I create the video number two I extract thumbnail and gift from video number three I write the blog post number four number five number six six and seven so why is that that's weird okay one two three write a blog post create short text file extract wave yeah so that's kind of sequence how it works and how I do it so you know like during lunchtime I'm able to create the blog post and share it to all these platforms because this process I do that in the morning this process here I not the process but the extraction uh actually I don't I yeah, let's do that I actually I actually do that first because I don't necessarily write I can write the blog post three four five six seven so I actually write the blog post um at, starting at lunch I started writing it and then I share it everywhere right but between the time that I create the video in the morning before I start work and all this process here all these things they all happen automatically I can just type the command and then get to work right I don't have to do um, I don't have to sit in front of my computer and do things all I need to do is record the video <clears throat> and then find so find location in video and extract thumbnail so all I need to do is I record the video once the video is recorded <clears throat> um, and then I start and then I upload upload video <clears throat> actually I upload the video afterwards I upload the video once I've found the location and I've extracted the thumbnails then I upload the video so I do that here then I upload upload video to YouTube in my case well actually I don't upload it to YouTube I upload it to um, a server on internet so I upload it there because my because I want to upload the video to YouTube I want to upload it to LinkedIn I want to upload it to Facebook I want to upload it to Pinterest right all those places and my internet is kind of slow so I can't actually I can't actually upload from my computer here on all those platforms I'm going to use up all my internet while I'm working right I can't it takes an hour for me to upload my video almost so what I do is I have this server on the internet that's basically a remote computer right so it's a computer that's on the internet on one of my cloud servers that I have access to uh, using what you call um, ESX or you use VNC there's different ways to do it but I have a window into that computer right once the video is uploaded there then I use that computer through a remote access to upload to YouTube and then Facebook and then I can do all that at lunchtime it takes two seconds to upload to YouTube from there right well maybe not two seconds but I don't know five minutes not even 30 seconds probably uh because that computer is right on the internet you know so from it to YouTube it's really high speed from my computer at, and, and in at home to that computer on the internet that's what takes an hour to do because my internet isn't that great here but that's kind of how I do it and um so yeah so that's that's I mean it's a lot to take in I'm I'm sure and I hope you um you know you enjoyed this I am um, I can show you some of these different things um you know like if I share this screen here oh that screen's dead anyways okay so that's kind of what I do hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions make sure you reach out I'm always here to help and you can always um so I mean it's it's crazy right all this stuff is all uploaded it's everywhere it's shared on all these all these different platforms and it's really cool to do that every single day so if you have any questions reach out 
and I'll do my best to help have yourself a great day until next time this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.